Look guys, our door is finally working. <laughs> After all this time, there was one block that never retracted and it finally works now. Oh, I'm so happy we can patch this up. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I'm guessing that was fixed in, I don't know which update, but, and there's also a little sound, you hear that? There's like a little pss sound. That's pretty cool. Does our lock still work? Indeed it does. I'm gonna keep that locked. <laughs> but yeah, guys, welcome back to another episode. This is Dallas here. We're here on episode 172. That has a little pss sound too. <laughs> yeah, uh, welcome down here. This is kind of an area we haven't been recently because I've been really working above ground on our main house for a while. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna continue working down here in the future um, because this is our main storage room. And of course, oh, I still need to finish this. That's our little thingy, but I did not forget about this. Project Rebirth. This is the project wall we made when I uh, made a return to this world because we took a long break from it. And I'm kind of interested to check what project I can take off. You know what I mean? Oh, we can take off that one. Villager repopulation. Basically that one too. I mean, I don't really want a huge pig or a sheep farm. I already am. Oh, we fixed that. Um, <laughs> furnish, oh no, 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 heck no, no. And eh, now, nah. finally finished under, no. Bacon, yay. <laughs> well, we still got that to do and that's part of Project Rainbow. But yeah, guys, today I kind of have some plans. Um, let's go up to our main project room. I feel so guilty, I'm sorry, Buster. The past few episodes, I have not had him running around with me for some reason. He should have gone on our adventures with us. <laughs> uh, like I said, when I got him, I said he's gonna be running with us everywhere, and he's been sitting in front of my house, taking poops all day, so. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, today, I want to work on the survival lab, the good old survival lab. <laughs> the most, probably the most overdue project in this world, and it's that place right there. What it's supposed to be, um, no, don't sit, <laughs> is uh, the place where we go to get our potions. Um, is it even on here, I wonder? Survival lab, where is it? Move buster. Uh, yeah, you can see I got 100% done on that. Um, I even got some over here, we got 100% on that. See, we're actually getting projects done, guys. <laughs> Oh, there it is, Survival Lab. Oh, it's about, I said about 80%. Let's go over there real quick. I love this portion of it right here. This isn't part of the Survival Lab. This is my first flower garden, and I put up on the project wall in there, I wanna make a lot more of these around my world. They're just so peaceful. <laughs> um, but yeah, here it is right here. As you guys know, we have a big uh, potion place underground, and once we brew our stuff, we hit a button, and it brings it up here. This is kind of like the underground part where they'll come down and grab, ooh, what's that? What was I doing here? Oh yeah, look back here. <laughs> right here, there's a giant hole that, oh hi, that I was planning on making a skylight for down there by the potion room. We might still do that. Um, but yeah, we would grab the potions, we would come up here, and we're going to dedicate certain rooms to storing potions, and then we're also gonna have a few rooms that actually we can do our own manual potion making. Um, but yeah, originally this place was supposed to be a survival lab, which would just have all of our basic survival aspects in it. But it's just going to be our potion lab, so I'm going to get to work. We have lots of interior designing to do, and all kinds of stuff like that. This place is kind of outdated. Hello? This place is closed, you can't be in here. <laughs> oh man, uh, I've been working up in the research center, that's new. Um, this is going to be the storage area where I come to get my supplies. Um, I'm actually thinking about putting some villagers in here, like some with the librarians and cartographers. Well, not the cart, just the library. <laughs> um, because they look like they're scientists. I want to test a few things. Um, let's try some regeneration. Instant damage. Uh, I got like, 
I guess you can call it a research lab up top. That's where I'm going to want to put them. Um, I'll show you what I've done so far. There's lots of work I still need to do. I don't even like these windows, to be honest. They're weird. Um, welcome to Survival Lab Research Center. I want to like display something right here, and I'm going to put security doors through here, too. Um, and same as here, but this is kind of what I got so far. This is nothing so far. Um, just got little tables with little rugs where they can work on the potions that they're making. I was going to test if you... What are you doing? This place is not ready for business. <laughs> um, instant... Oh, dang it. I, I want to fill it up all the way. So I'm going to have to go get more of the same potions, I'm guessing. Yeah, this is just like a little area they can come up and do that stuff. Um, that's for dipping arrows, I'm correct, right? Yeah, I think it is. Um, I kind of like it so far. It's kind of just cozy and nice feeling. I'm going to have to secure it somehow, though, to get villagers to stay in here. I'm going to have to put something here so they don't walk down here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's so many zombies. I've been tearing down a lot of torches, so I got a lot of work to do. I'm going to continue working, and I'll keep updating you guys here and there. That should keep the rain out. I'm surprised my wood hasn't rotted out yet. <laughs> I have not finished that in such a long time. That was like the last thing I needed to do is just put glass up there because that's a skylight. But I actually love how this looks in here because if you didn't know what the survival lab is um, for some of you newcomers is I have an old series called Minecraft PE Survival Lab and um, I built almost the same exact kind of style and I, that's why I rebuilt it in this world because I loved it. But that series kind of ended short. Um, oh, I won't be able to do that. I was thinking about putting glowstone under there, but I can't because these are slabs. Whoopsie. <laughs> um, yeah, a little more update time. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I can put these. I have an amazing spot, actually. Let's go up to the research center area. Um, I kind of like this. I kind of altered them a bit like I was supposed to a while ago. It was normally flat across. It's kind of like a room divider, I guess you can say. Um, I'm going to put a back door here. and I'm actually going to put like some farms back here for nether wart. Up here, um, so I haven't done anything there, but uh, I'm putting in iron doors now. I got this one connected to pressure plates, and these ones are on buttons. Wash hands before entry. <laughs> um, I got a little display window here because this is where the scientists are going to be working hard. Um, I kind of like it. It's still kind of the same. I got mushrooms growing in the windows because you can actually use mushrooms for potions. I thought that was good, or a good idea at least. Got these filled up. I love this little cabinet design I thought of. It's perfect. You can put uh, just stuff in there. It looks like a little cabinet. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of like it. I got this door secure too, so we can actually go grab some villagers. But this right here, it's just kind of awkward. I don't like these how far out these fences are. And if I have to put a fence here, you don't... Well, you kind of do. I don't know. I'm going to mess with this a bit. Guys, I cannot believe I did not think of this. I'm trying to find a place to put these. And look, down here, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't even think of this. Down here, part of the survival lab, I have these wheat farms. Because, as I said in the beginning, the survival lab was originally supposed to be like a lab full of survival stuff. Like you would survive off of. But since it's going to be our potion lab now, I mean, look how perfect it looks. We can get rid of this wheat and put this stuff down nether wart down here because it looks like it has growing pods like well not pods like these lights are helping it grow it looks perfect in here too which kind of i'm gonna have to get oh there's a hole there oh i think i was messing with that door oh i need to check if that door works now our little hidden door yeah this weed has been here forever but you're gonna have to go now <laughs> this weed is probably all moldy and everything i'm gonna have to get rid of that water source back there too all right i'm gonna plant nether warts here and see how that looks I think I'm going to want to put iron doors throughout my whole place because I want my villagers to be able to roam anywhere in the building, not just the research area. Um, so I need some buttons. So that means all the outside doors are going to have to be triggered by... Bu oh, gosh. Oh, well, um, I guess one of these are going to have to go. I'll just have to get rid of this weird design looking thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that looks a lot better with actually... Uh, oh, ah, I forgot some. Wait a minute. There we go. Now it looks better. Okay button on the back of this door there we go so i can get in and out and i use this basically for my reservoir for this building if i need potions oh looks like the water is dipped in there a bit so if like um obviously <laughs> villagers aren't going to be the ones making the potions if i need to come in and just make a manual potion real quick i just run down there and grab some water that's what i don't know what i was originally going to put sugar cane around this but i never did oh well yeah that's that i'm gonna go find out if this thing still works this lag spike crap is 
driving me absolutely insane. Let me know down below if you guys are getting it too on like mobile phones or Windows 10 as well. Oh, I'm missing a piece of redstone. Oh, let's go get that. Ooh, we have an eclipse, guys. That looks awesome. That would be cool if they implemented something into Minecraft where with certain moons you are able to do certain things. You know what I mean? There's a lot of magical stuff in Minecraft, so I, I wouldn't see why not. I wish there was like a blood moon or something. Just <laughs> kind of silly stuff like that. There's already enough silly stuff in this game. Um, so is that all I need? I think I disabled this because it had one of them glitches where it wasn't retracting a piston like it was supposed to. Oh no, what the heck? Did I like tear this thing apart? Oh man. Oh, I did. Oh. Okay, I think I fixed it. I just took out a lot of redstone or something. I heard something out here. I'm keeping my eyes out. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Uh, no. Um, oh gosh. What have I done to this thing? Oh my lord. So my oh, I'm missing a... a repeat. Oh my god, there's just... This door is all jacked up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I've been fumbling around with this thing for like the past five minutes, and then I realized I was actually missing one repeater. Um, but that wasn't the reason why I stopped using it. The reason I stopped using it is because that's when uh, pistons started getting all buggy and whatnot. Is this how it looked? It looked kind of funky like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it works now. Just run up here, press the button, opens up, and then of course... I don't know if I want to drop down there. Oh gosh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Gotta time this right. Oh, we almost got him. Yeah. Oh, I missed him. Dang it. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, missed him again. <laughs> I missed him again. God dang it. Come on, Dallas. Did I get him? I got him. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, so do that. Drop down here. And then we got a little hop up right here. I like it. Well, I never use it, though. <laughs> I'm going to now because it's actually a fast drop to get down to my storage room. That's why I made it originally. Um, all right, enough messing around with that. So let's get back to the survival lab. I want to actually finish this, this episode. No doubt. 100% complete. I even want to get the villagers over here. Maybe. I might do that in the between episodes, but I'm not for sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, I like that there, but uh, it looks too planty and uh I want this to be like a nice looking room. I want the growing stuff to be going on down there. And you have a nice view of it down here, so that's nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put in this room. Probably, I don't wanna put chairs or anything because that's what this is. This is kind of like the waiting room. Um, I could use it as a shelf maybe. I might put a plant up there. I'm gonna get rid of this chest. Uh, put a little table right there. Um, now I was thinking about this. Oh, what's this? Is that grass? What the? Oh. <laughs> um, because I, it looks kind of strange with two doors right there. I just didn't like it a whole lot. I might actually just make it one wide door. Kind of like... Maybe... Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that a little bit better. <laughs> okay, fixed that up. I had some trim issues there because upstairs some of those blocks are showing up there. But it looks all good now. Uh, over here, I wanted to show you as well. I had this little room. I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, I might turn it into a little office, like the guy who runs this place, the main doctor. Oh, I can fix that, though. And um, I might stick him in here and kind of make him uh, stuck behind a counter. I think that would be cool. Wait, no. Huh. I was also thinking about doing, like, a receptionist, you know, kind of right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'll have... Bye. You gotta stop this dude. <laughs> Did you come here for potions? I have potions, if that's what you're wanting. No, he's, he's mad. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll be a way better idea. And then I can put an iron door here so I can get in, but they can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It is always raining in this gosh darn world, man. I cannot get a break, I tell ya. <laughs> I'm gonna have to replace these with iron doors. Um, but I kinda got the receptionist done. Uh, I wanted to use panes right here. But I need to put this trap door because I don't want no baby zombies to like run in there and kill them. Because I want to name this person so they can stay. They will stay regardless, I believe. But I might name them. I'm not sure. Once we get more uh, name tags going around here. And this little room. This one is specifically meant for me. That's I don't know what else to put in here. I put a little uh, recycle bottles 
Recycle bottles here. Nice, Dallas. <laughs> um, where I can run in and throw empty bottles. And I'm going to put... I think I'll... I'm actually going to get real potions and put them in the item frames and name them. So I can actually run in here and see... Why can't I open that? I thought you could open with slabs above. I thought I just did earlier. I could have swore I did. Oh, that's annoying. I guess you can't. It was only top slabs. Oh my god, pocket edition, you're driving me insane. Yeah, you can with that, but why can't you with that? Because it's like exactly... Stop it! Oh my god. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> I don't care, I'll fix that in a second. Um, yeah, and then over this way... This is kind of a hassle back here. It's just awkward. <laughs> uh, I, I decided I'll keep that window there. It looks weird. I put a little farm right there, and then this looks awkward. I don't like that. I think I want to actually put a stair there like I normally do, and then that, and that. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, it's just really awkward. <laughs> uh, and then I'll put an iron door here. I think I'm going to make a pathway go over here. It's going to go under our little skeleton tube, and I'm going to make a staircase right here. I think that'll be cool. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I made a little staircase here, and I made the pathway go right around the back. This is just to, of course, get into the back door if I need to. I'm going to put an iron door there, of course, which means I have to get rid of one torch. <laughs> and then I got it going around here. It's just this whole backside, like I said, is just really weird. And I have to have these slabs here because, well, I didn't need that one because I got that there. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with that exactly. So I just kind of did this. I put some bushes there. I like how you can see the chest in the window there. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's about all I can do back here. I feel as if maybe I can do something like that on top of that. Yeah, I might do that. I'll need more slabs. I'll make that look better. Oh, yeah, and I'll make... Let's do that real quick, actually. <laughs> yes, that looks way better. <laughs> and then I have the pathway running right through here in between these trees. I never really liked to cut down these trees. I started cutting down a few and then I stopped because this is like the original forest that was always here. And I kind of like it. It looks very... I like having woods surround my place, which I'm still trying to do. Um, I feel as if... One needs to go there. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> then I got a staircase right here. I've always wanted to actually put a staircase here. I was supposed to, but I never did. I want to put my logs on the sides too. But yeah, that's about it um, for the interior design. I still got a little tweaks to do, but I've been working on this all day. Like, I, I sit there for a while trying to think of stuff, and we still got to get our villagers in there. We're going to, so... Um, but I'm not going to do that quite this episode because I'm pretty worn out working on that place. Oh, potato! Yeah. Um, for the rest of the episode, we're going to mess around the house, do some other things. Um, yeah, see, all my sunflowers turned this way. I don't really like that. I've been actually expanding this little by little. Ooh, what horse is that? Oh, it's got black on its back. Hey, that's a dark brown horse. Um, but yeah, I've been expanding this little by little over time. This is where I come to get my trees, too. I'm thinking about putting my tree farm out here in this plains area. Um, we got lots of room to work with out here. Um, but I think I want to also mess with this pathway because it's kind of eh. It's not, I don't like it. I might want it to go a little bit more in that direction. Yeah, I'll mess with stuff out here. <laughs> Just running around checking on some things. I always come over here every so often to check if these guys are doing all right. Uh, I need to let some of these horses go. Um, okay, so this is our new horse. That's like my dream horse, so he's amazing. <laughs> Can't get rid of him. This guy, he is all right. It's just these guys have been here for so long. It's just like I kind of feel weird getting rid of them. Like I feel like they're family now for some reason, even though they've been imprisoned in my barn. That one is, I think, the god-awful horse. I actually want to try him real quick. Come here. Are you the god-awful one? I'm going to laugh if it is. Remember? We found it and it was... Oh, no, no. Wait, this one's decent. Oh, yeah. Whoa, look how many hearts it has. I think this one we tried growing up or something. And it glitched out. Is that glitch still in the game, I wonder? I remember we found a, a white horse that was the slowest horse in the history of Minecraft. Is he back here? No. Oh, there's that other brown horse. See, I don't know. I like that dark brown, but I also like that brown. 
We should like breed them too and see what we can get. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about uh, something we're going to do next episode. I want to still, I'm in the adventuring mood for some reason. I want to build, but I also want to adventure. Um, so I'm going to kind of keep a happy medium in between both. Oh, another llama um, here in the episodes to come. Uh, so I want to get into the building mood uh, like a lot because I still got lots of stuff to do. We got so much to do and I'm glad we actually got some of that done on the survival lab today. And this is one of the next main ones I want to start on this. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm like so mad at myself sometimes for the, but then again, I took breaks and I was busy at times. So that's kind of how I stopped working on this type of stuff. When you work on it and then take a break and then you come back to it, you kind of don't have... You lost all your ideas you had. So I'm going to have to get my ideas back and see what I was going for here. This is the last part I was working on. I'm going to put a big red building in between these two gray parts. That was the plan. Now, I didn't have an idea of what I was going to do with this place. I know I was going to be... Do I need to update this? Eh, not really. <laughs> oh, it made that red. And it made the farms bigger. Um, this was supposed to be like a big redstone factory where it's going to have a lot of automated machines. Which I'm still thinking about, but I also just want to go ahead and finish it too because I hate looking at it and just seeing it not finished. So we're going to, this might be one of our next big projects after the survival lab, I'm not sure. We got lots of little things to do, but I'm thinking next episode I want to go caving in a newly generated area. Uh, I don't know which direction, but I want to just, I haven't gone caving in a long, long time and it bothers me. So I think we're going to do that next episode. Well, I think that's going to conclude it for this episode. Um, I got quite a bit of building in, and it took quite some time, so I'm already running out of time. But let's go ahead and do the comment question of the day. This one comes from Charlie Zinner, and they ask, Favorite update in Minecraft Pocket Edition? Uh, I've actually been, like I said, binge-watching my series, and over the time I've been watching it, I've been seeing all the updates I kind of forgot about. And I think one... Oh, crap, which one was it? It was either a zero... No, I think it was 0.12.0. Well, my favorite one of all was 0.9.0 because that's what gave us infinite worlds and all the biomes. That was just like a true experience I could not forget because I never experienced infinite worlds in Minecraft until that update. And that was amazing. Uh, but I got to admit the crap. What was it? 0.11.0 or 12.0? It's when we got introduced to the nether, potions, and enchanting. I was so excited. <laughs> like you could even tell in my uh, video or my episode on this world where we started messing with it. It was so much fun. Just getting enchanting after not having it for the longest time. Just like, it was just, I love these refreshing feelings. And now we're kind of running out of them. Uh, I mean, we just got the Explorer update, which recently just came to PC. And then next we got... The color update which we already kind of got uh we are oh my god we did oh wow i didn't even think of that we got terracotta concrete guys we're basically almost caught up to pc this is scary oh my gosh all we don't have is like parrots book and quills armor stands which i i've been begging the devs on twitter if you've seen to give us armor stands i'm dying to get them guys we are basically caught up to pc with just missing a few features Oh no, that's scary, man. <laughs> I mean, no, that's good, but I guess, uh, I guess soon we're going to be getting like one more update and we're going to basically have everything if you think about it. They, But they said they're having extreme issues with adding armor stands, which, I mean, I don't I don't know how what they mean by that, uh, but I guess I can see from their point of view because they have to use like some sort of like, I guess you can say another person it's kind of hard to explain they use like an actual in-game like npc for it but it doesn't move and then you put the armor on it's very strange actually but they said they don't know how to do it or something and it's just it annoys me when they say that it's like come on you made this game you gotta you gotta throw it in i'm just dying to get them and book and quill i'm just oh the two my two most favorite features in minecraft because book and quills i like making my adventure log and all that um yeah well, that's going to be it. My favorite update, I think, was 0.9.0, which, if a lot of you didn't know, some of you are still surprised when you hear that, like you didn't know, this world was created in 0.9.0. So, yeah, that's that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where I think we're going to prepare to go caving somewhere because we need supply. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to run down to the vault and show you. I was like, this is why. Because we don't have anything in our vault. This is all we got left. Oh, my God, we only have nine diamonds.
Are you serious? I don't care about emeralds a whole lot. Evoke her brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely going to go caving next episode. I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.